Uh, okay. Uh, so we will start now. So, uh, so, so, uh, <coughs> so we, uh, we will, so we, welcome to the class lecture. So software computing lab. So we, so we are seeing few basics up till now, and the last uh, uh, lecture. So Professor Jinu told about some like discussed about some some basic mathematical operation how to use Python to be, do some basic mathematical operations like absolute sign, complex something like that. Then how to vectorize the loops. Okay, like instead of writing a for loop, you can just do vectorize these things. So how to do these things? So some basics about these things. Yes. Uh, taken in this lecture has yes, explained these things. So what we will be covering today is experimentally in our syllabus. Okay. So it's about uh, realizing matrices and uh, arrays. Okay. Basically vectors and matrices how to represent them in, in Python and how to manipulate them for and do some operation mathematical operations here, uh, vector operations or matrix operations. So how to do use Python to do these things. So basically, whatever we cover in this lecture, it, uh, it should be knowing the what is the math max behind it. So you have already taken a, 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 or a course on linear algebra. So you should be knowing the basic concepts. So I will not be covering the those concepts here. Okay, I will just take the final result. Okay, and uh, I'll, I'll try, I'll take the final result and I'll show you how to use Python to uh, visualize these things or to make sense out of the data, what are we have studied in max class, okay, in your max course. Okay, and uh, uh, if, you are, if you are not comfortable with uh, these things, then please go, go back to your max uh, linear algebra course, you review these uh, concepts, then you start doing these things. So, so, so the experiment three has these following things. It's like uh, how to re realize a one-dimensional array, uh, like basically a vector, okay, of uh, real and complex numbers, okay. Then uh, how how to plot them, okay. You have you can use stem plots or and continuous plots, okay. So I'll I'll tell you what is the uh, what is these things. Then how to realize a two-dimensional array. So it's like matrices. How to visualize. Then how to visualize them? Or like matrices means it has two dimensions, so you can think it as some kind of an image if you want. Okay, so how to realize those things? Then, then the fourth part is like uh, solving an uh, uh, system of linear equation. So you have this the system of linear equations. You can write it as a into x is b. Then you try to solve for x. So the solution is something like A inverse B phase square matrix and if it the inverse exists, okay. So how to use Python to solve this system of linear equations. So that's uh, 3.4, okay. And in 3.3, we will see how to find the rank, okay. Rank of a matrix and how, okay. So eigenvalues, how to find it, so, uh, <coughs> okay. And, uh, <coughs> Then in uh, uh, 3.6, you will see about what is called a singular value decomposition. So I already know, I, I hope that you know what is a singular value decomposition. Okay, if you don't know what is a singular value decomposition, then you uh, hopefully uh, it should be covered in your course. If it's not there, and then go to web and there are infinite material about these things so you get a basic idea of what is it okay then the last section is like approximating your metrics using singular value decomposition okay so these are the topics which is there in experiment number three okay and there are as you can see there are quite few things to be covered so i'll st uh, i'll start one by one okay i'll start with uh, so your uh, Matrix operations, okay. So it's like releasing one dimensional, two dimensional, uh, or like releasing a vector and 
uh, metrics using <coughs> Python. So as uh, uh, as shown in the last, as we showed in the last uh, uh, class class, I hope this is visible. Uh, uh, if it's uh, so, if it's not visible, I'll share you the the Python scripts uh, files also. You can go through it. So it's like uh, so. What I have I'm doing here is like in the left side. I've written the codes for doing all these things which I've told. Okay, and in the right side, I just copy paste the relevant part of the code and explain one, one after other. Okay, so. Uh, Okay, so it's like so we'll start with uh, how to represent a vector. Okay, so uh, so we'll be using uh, this package numpy for uh, this vector. So uh, we'll be using numpy package. Okay, uh, we, I think in the last class also uh, we see we saw that. So we'll use uh, numpy package to okay. So numpy is kind of an own kind of data structure of representing this. Um, this uh, this and, and an easier way of representing these vectors and matrices and uh, all the linear algebra operations which you study are very easily okay, you can easily implement okay uh, in using num numpy so if you if you are if you in the last class saw that there is something also called as list okay but thing is that many mathematical operations which uh, the linear algebra operations we study can't be directly used in list. So, so if you use numpy package, uh, all these things are uh, built in there. So it's quite easy. So that's why we are going for numpy. Okay. And uh, so thing is that you have to import the package numpy. Okay. So the way you do is that you you say import numpy. And uh, you can give a mnemonics, like you can give a short form for the package. So I'm giving NP, okay, NumPy is the package. I'm saying input NumPy as NP, okay. So, so whenever I write NP, NP, it means NumPy, okay, inside the code. Okay, and thing is that if uh, your Python is not already installed, uh, not having a NumPy package, then you have to install, install NumPy. Okay, and if your NumPy is not there, they will get a traceback saying that uh, that package is not uh, like it's not available. So you have to install. You can use pip or uh, any way. Is you can use there are different ways of doing it. So you go through and you go to the web and see what is the best way of uh, doing. Okay. So if you don't install it, okay. So you know, you use pip install numpy should do it. Okay. So then, uh, so I will start with uh, uh, representing the vectors. So any anything like vectors, matrices, everything is represented in numpy as arrays. Okay. Okay. And the simple most form is uh, vectors. Okay. Vectors can either be row vectors or column vectors. So column vectors means uh, you have only one row, one row, okay, and uh, the numbers are represented in one, 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 one number is represented in one line. The next number comes in the next line. So that's how the column vectors is constructed, okay. And similarly, in row vectors, you just have one column, means all the numbers will be in the same line, okay. So that's the way you'll. Uh, you'll you <clears throat> have your representation. Okay, so the way to do is like you call it as an array. Okay, so you say, uh, so we'll start with uh, real valued um, <coughs> vectors. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how to uh, represent real value, uh, valued vectors. Okay, so uh, the way to represent is uh, what is shown here. So I'll start with how to give a, make a row vector. So the way to do is like you say np nps it's short form for numpy numpy dot array okay then you are having close open and close curve brackets okay inside that brackets okay <coughs> you give inside the value the values inside the square brackets okay and uh, <coughs> so this is how you represent the uh, uh, vectors okay and it, it, uh, so uh, okay so you can see the 
can print the value. So this is how we will represent the three vectors. And you can always print the vector and see. Okay, so if I run it, uh, I'm using this Anaconda package to run. Okay, so you can use any package. If I run it, so I am, so if you can see, it's, uh, so I was in the thing like uh, one, two, three. It was a row vector with having elements one, two, three. Okay. And I stored it using num as a numpy and I am printing it. So it's so if you want the data type, okay. So so the way it shows here is uh, what is called as a numpy array. So if you see the type of the vector, it will show it as a numpy array. It's a numpy array, n dimensional array. Okay. So that's how it's stored. Okay. No, this is about row vectors. Similarly, you can have uh, vectors. Okay, in column vectors, uh, in one line you have only one value. Then the next value comes. That's how you are, represent, you are representing the column vectors. So the way to uh, do it is like uh, uh, so for column vectors, the way to do it is something like. Uh, uh, np dot array again np dot array okay <clears throat> then as i told in, in one line you have only one value okay so you give inside square brackets that particular value then you put a comma that means you go to the next line then put the value that is two then go to the next line put the value three okay that's how uh, your uh, column vector will be created so if you again if you want to print the vector and see the type it should be in, uh, the vector should be displayed as one, two, three, vertically downwards, uh, and the type should be a numpy n dimensional array. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, okay. So if you see vector one, uh, uh, I'll share you the scripts. You can go through it. Okay. So it's one, two, three. Okay. And you're having the if you see the dimension, it's three comma one. That means three rows, one column. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the first example I show is uh, is what is. Uh, real valued vectors. Similarly, you can create complex valued vectors. Okay, so as you in the last class, we saw two ways of doing it. One is putting one number, real part plus imaginary part, followed by j, or you can put complex of uh, real part, comma imaginary part. So, uh, so same way you can use. So here I have used uh, the second way of doing it. So the, the, the complex vector is created as something like. Uh, Okay, so the complex vector is again np dot array. So it's to make an array, and here I am making a column. Uh, sorry, row vector. Okay, it's a row vector. Uh, uh, okay, so and the way is like you say the first element. First element, what is the value? So it, if it's complex, then you give the real part. Okay, plus the imaginary part followed by j. If it's uh, uh, J only, uh, the imaginary part is, is J. Uh, make sure that you give one J. Don't just give J. If you just give J, it will give you an error. Okay. So then you can do that. And similarly, you can see the print. You can print that thing, and you can see the dimension. Or not. So you do those things. So it should be. Uh, so you so you do that the uh, first one is the. That array, complex array, how it's get how it got created. It's uh, you can see the values, okay. And uh, so it's the uh, dimension is one one row, three columns, like one, two, three, three columns. Are there. Then the type is numpy and an array, okay. So uh, this is about uh, the vectors, and uh, so you can extend that concept of vectors to create. What uh, your matrices? Okay, so again you can use NumPy package. To, uh, 
to do it okay and the idea is like uh, you can uh, you can use np array so idea is very similar to how you made your column like this right you you put one value in each row and you that value was put inside a square bracket then comma what is the value coming in the next column that that's how you created a column bit so the matrix for uh, making a matrix is very similar to it okay okay so making a matrix is very similar to it so the idea is that you have np dot array saying that it's an array then uh, since in the case of column vectors the value you see was inside only one value was there in each row right but if you see it in the matrix you can see that you are having n n rows and each row each row is having uh, instead of one value a set of values okay okay so the way to do it is like np dot array of uh, you uh, inside square brackets you give the values 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay and uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 inside square brackets so this forms your first row okay then you put a comma then you give the next row values okay uh, inside the next square bracket so that's how you create your matrix okay <clears throat> and if you are having more terms you put a comma and you can extend it okay and uh, if you print it and see the diamond okay yeah. you print it you print a you should get one matrix one two three in the first row Four, five, six in the second row, right? And the dimension is two, right? right? You have x, 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 x means you have rows and columns, right? So it's a dimension of two. And if you execute it, and this screen, if you execute it, you get uh, uh, what we are getting, right? You have uh, first row is one, two, three. Second row is four, five, six, and the dimension is two. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, then this you create a matrix, okay? And uh, uh, so you, there are a lot of operations which we learn about matrix. Uh, the, the one is addition, one is multiplication. So if you make sure that the dimensions match these things, for example, if it's addition, if you want to add two matrices, uh, then the dimensions of A and dimension of A should be equal, same, right? If A is 3 by 3, B should be 3 by 3. Then only you can add. But if for multiplication, it's like uh, number of uh, columns of first should be equal to the number of rows of second. It's like if you have M, uh, 3 by 2, then that matrix can be only multiplied with a matrix of having two rows. Like 3 by 2 matrix can be multiplied with a matrix of 2 by 3. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, for that purpose, you many times you need to know the what is number of rows, what is number of columns. So the way to do it is like, uh, if there is this command called uh, shape. So that should uh, give you the dimension. Okay, so if you can see, uh, shape is the last one, two comma three. Now what does that mean? It means that you have two rows, okay? You have two rows and uh, three columns one two three and that way you can see the what is the dimension of the matrix <clears throat> uh, about, uh, matrix. so as i told there are a lot of mathematical operations if you make sure that uh, uh, <clears throat> just, if you make sure that uh, uh, you are this thing is there to make sure that the um, orders like the the auto mathematical operation which you are asking the Python to do is a parallel operation is be able to okay uh, um, you can see an example of uh, matrix multiplication so as I told uh, so when can two matrices be multiplied these two matrices can be multiplied uh, if uh, the uh, number of uh, number of columns of first matrix is equal to the number of rows of second matrix. Okay, so for that purpose, just uh, I'll construct. So I'm going to do matrix multiplication, and for that purpose, uh, I have constructed two matrices. 
okay and yeah, so the way i have created is like matrix a is created as np dot once okay once is an another function which is there in numpy so if i give in numpy dot once instead instead of the bracket so if i give three comma one what does that mean it will create a matrix of three rows one column and put all the values as one so okay so if i put np dot uh, ones of three comma three it will make a three by three matrix with all the elements being one okay uh, so I, may, I constructed a matrix a which is np dot ones of three comma one and i have constructed another matrix b okay which is np dot ones means all ones of uh, one row for uh, four columns okay and if I do the, so this can be multiplied, right? These two matrices can be multiplied plus A is dimension three by one, B is dimension one by four. So the resulting matrix will be di having dimension of three by four. And the, so NumPy has this uh, another function, uh, matmult. Uh, so uh, matmult, so it's np dot uh, matmult means matrix multiplication. Okay, so uh, you use this np dot matmult you give the first first matrix uh, followed by the second matrix. If I put B comma A, it may not be able to because that matrix operation may not be uh, uh, valid. Okay, so you need to give the order is important in matrix multiplication. Okay, so what does this should give? Uh, so you see is uh, A, to A by B. So A is a uh, column vector of all ones. B is a row vector of all ones. So if I multiply these two things, I'll get a matrix of all ones. So if you are not sure, uh, just take a paper and pen and uh, do this multiplication. You should get all ones, okay? <clears throat> and uh, so if I do these things and if I print and all, uh, and what should be the dimension of C? It should be three by four, right? So if I save it and execute. So uh, the result is a matrix of uh, dimension three by four, okay? And yeah, with all the elements being one, right? So it makes sense, right? Uh, <clears throat> that's what we, uh, that's how we construct. It. So uh, similarly, there are a lot of other operations you can go to the web and see uh, how to do these things. Okay. So I am just giving you some, uh, uh, some uh, what do you say? Some, uh, some basic uh, or some very. <clears throat> very restricted view of uh, what you can do okay so if you are interested <coughs> and you can always go to the go to and learn more there are a lot of things to learn so we i'm just giving you the basic things which you need to understand by that uh, to understand the doing these uh, uh, these uh, operations using python okay uh, then uh, there is another uh, so many times what happens is uh, uh, we are having uh, we want to uh, make a random matrix okay random matrix in the sense that uh, you are having a matrix or m by n matrix but the entries will be having so you want to put some random values in these entries okay so how to do that thing okay so so the constructing a random matrix again you can there is a package for in numpy so that's why we like this numpy numpy has a lot of things you can do a lot of things so for creating random random matrix there is a package uh, called in numpy dot random dot rand okay so i'll basically i'll just show you how to do it okay so i'll i'll i want to construct a random matrix the name of the matrix is Rand underscore mat. Okay. The way to do is like numpy that is uh, having a short form of np np dot random dot rand. Okay. Then you give the dimension. How many rows you need? That is three. How many columns you need? That is four. Okay. If I do this uh, rand mat, okay. <clears throat> if I do this operation, I'll get a, a matrix of order uh, dimension three by four, and all the entries are random, some random values. Okay. And uh, so you can see what is the value. Okay. And can it can also print the shape and to make just to make sure that you got what you want. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, you have created a matrix of uh, rows three and number of columns as four, 
and the entries are random you never in the code put these values 0.0, uh, 0 0.6059 or so these things you didn't but the issue here is that since it's a random num random randomly generated matrix you may may, not, may be not be able to reproduce that same matrix if I read rerun the same code and now we get some different values okay earlier it was six zero now it's seven five so uh, many times it keeps on changing because it's you are creating a random matrix uh, so the randomness makes it that every time you get a different uh, matrix okay but uh, in many times uh, you want to put random values but you want to re reproduce that same random matrix okay so the way to do is like uh, again there is some way and uh, numpy has some way doing it so it's like you specify so it's these uh, you specify the seed from which you want so it's like uh, there is this concept of seed so it's like uh, so these num random numbers are generated starting from some particular point starting it will start from some sub starting point okay if you don't put this seed it will start from anywhere okay but if you give uh, which seed from where you should start it will only start from that point so since it's starting from that point uh, it will always reach at the same point okay so in that sense uh, you have a randomness in the sense that uh, if you put a different seed you will get a different different number but uh, if you do it again and again you will get the same number but if you put the seed change the seed you get a different number so since now i have uh, put this seed, okay uh, uh, if I run this thing now, so now I got 0 0.5489. Again, if I run, again, I will get the same random matrix. Okay. <clears throat> so this is uh, again a nice thing to have. Okay. Then, uh, uh, then there is also uh, the concept of so, so, so these are about matrices, and there is many times you also need to. Uh, select a particular part of the matrix like uh, maybe you want to select only the first row or first uh, two rows okay uh, or you want to select the first column or uh, second column to uh, second to fifth column so uh, so you want to basically separate a small region of a, of your original matrix you want to take a small region out of it. so there is a again there is a way of doing it so it's like uh, you can specify that from which column to which column number you want to take, which row number to which row number you want to take. Okay. <clears throat> so for example, uh, so you have this random matrix, okay. And if you want to see the first column of this thing, then you take the random matrix. So the random matrix is defined here. It's the three by four, right? So this column means everything. So you take all the elements, okay. All the row elements, uh, all the uh, all the all the columns, uh, means all the elements which is coming one after another, and the uh, all the row, basically all the row elements you take, and the column uh, it's specified as zero. Okay, so it's like uh, you in Python, if you remember, the arrays are in, in starting from zero. Okay, so zero uh, zero means the first uh, first value. Okay, one means the second value. Two means the third value, like that it goes. Okay. So if I want to select the first row out of it, okay, this is our uh, first uh, uh, column out of it, this is how I'll put. Okay, if I run it, okay, you can see that, uh, right? <clears throat> so uh, uh, 0.5488 is here, 0.42 is here. Right, 0.96 is coming here. Okay, so it's uh, so you basically extracted out your first column. Okay, but if you want to extract uh, 